look at what we're doing uh, by eating the foods we're eating every day, most of those foods are not completely digested. They end up out in the bloodstream. So then we're creating kind of a little internal mess that these enzymes have to clean up. So again, that's, that's essentially what they do, speed things up and break things down. So when you talk about a distinction between digestive enzymes and systemic enzymes, the distinction is not in the chemical itself, in the enzyme molecule itself. It's in where it's working. And there are, there, yeah, that's a great point. So the other thing with digestive, you have a bunch of enz enzymes that will digest uh, fats, sugars, and proteins. Because your body is mainly, as far as systemically concerned, your muscles, tissues, organs are mostly protein. So then those formulas are going to consist mostly of proteases or enzymes that work on protein. How, how about in the blood? Same as far thing, as blood I mean. clots go and that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there are specific lots of wonderful enzymes that have tons of research uh, that you can check out from natokinase that, that works on thinning the blood, lowering the blood viscosity, you know, breaking down any potential uh, um, fibrin or fibrinogen, you know, uh, issues so that, that uh, strokes, heart attacks are somewhat, um, you know, you can prevent them, right? And of course, uh, the way nature designed it, we're supposed to be eating foods that have all these things in them, and that would take care of the clots, or at least partially take care of the clots and all these other things, the foods we were eating, if, if we were eating correctly, if we were eating correctly. Right, like all the indigenous peoples ate raw fermented foods we talked about earlier. If you eat those foods, I go. They contain all the enzymes, contain all the probiotics. You know, all of your all of your vitamins. Everything's all in the food. Wow. So, so how about? <laughs> do you know who uh, Nicholas Gonzalez is? Yes. Tell us a little bit about Nicholas Gonzalez's work with cancer and enzymes. Yeah, he he kind of followed in the footsteps of like there's kind of like a cr chronology. So Dr. Beard, turn of the century, then uh, Dr. William Kel Kelly, Donald Kelly, did a bunch of re research, and then. Uh, Dr. Gonzalez carried that on. So, uh, again, looking at mostly, because we, you talked about this before we went to the break, but most of the plant-based enzymes have a really wide pH, so that's why they're, they're absolutely wonderful for digestive purposes. Animal-based enzymes have a very, very narrow profile as far as pH, and, they, and, and it just so happens to match what, what the pH of the blood is. So most of the research that Dr. Gonzalez did was with plant, or was, sorry, was with animal-based enzymes because they're so pancreatin, yeah, so effective in the bloodstream. And 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 uh, uh, I just yeah read some articles, and I just recently got his book too that talked about what went wrong with his you know with his studies and stuff. But no, very in incredibly prolific guy that 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 got you know the power of enzymes and was sharing that and trying to get that out to people in the world. What do you know about pancreatin, pancreatic enzymes? I know they use them for cystic fibrosis and for digestive issues, but what do you know about the enzyme, the, the, the spectrum of enzymes in the pancreas? Yeah, and there was two parts, because I just learned this recently, which I thought was interesting. So, like, if you look at, um, because Dr. Gonzalez thought that, the, like, it, this is dealing with animal-based enzymes, the higher the activity in numbers didn't mean anything, right? It was, it was that he wanted the whole component in other uh, words, you wanted the whole pancreas because the pancreas contains a, a, a large amount of fat, which was critical for healing. So when he started using these other formulas that were, that were extracts and that had high concentration levels and zero fat in them, it, the results were gone. So he uh, had to so trace back and go, what the hell happened? So he went back and goes, oh, my gosh, and found out. So that's, that's critical, you know, dealing with the whole cancer treatment piece is that, you deal with the whole thing, not just an extract or a piece of it. Right. So he was grinding up the whole pancreas, the whole animal yep. pancreas, and using it as interesting. Yep. So yep. You, are, are you familiar with glandulars? A little bit. Okay. So that's, the, that's basically the theory of glandulars, is that they right. grind up the entire gland, so you get, you get everything, not just, yep. the, not, the, not just the extract. All right. So you've got to some of your products on my website, brightsidehealthproducts.com. Um, we also have the Bergamax up there that we've talked about in the past. I want to know about this stuff called estrogen that you're adding into your enzymes. Yes, critical, critical. If, like we already talked about, enzymes break things down. So that's the first step in digestion. But the second step, and probably equally, if not more important, is the absorption piece. That's where estrogen comes in. I mean, it's the ultimate absorption enhancer. So we took these two um, enzymes and estrogen put them together in something we called astrozyme. So that's 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 and then we did a study to show that yes, the enzymes break down 96% of the proteins into smaller peptides and amino acids. Then the estrogen comes in, uptakes those, and increases absorption rates anywhere between 40 and 60%. Now, you, when you say absorption, you're talking about into the blood, not into the cells. You're talking about in, into in, the blood. 
in what we used in the in the study, the clinical study was KCO2 cells, which are which are human, the human cells found in the intestinal tract. So again, it actually upregulated to uptake into the cell itself. Up into the cell itself, yes. Oh, that's amazing. How, are you using the estrogen for other supplements? For well, for all of our all of our uh, digestive products right now is all they all they're in right now. So people should be using this estrogen for all supplements. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but again, if you look at like um, you know taking. And again, going back to the fact that I go, all of the, we mentioned that with vitamins, the, you know, the coenzymes, all these different things. You should be taking enzymes with everything you put in your mouth, uh-huh. you know, whether, whether it's, a, whether it's a, a vitamin, you know, any kind of supplement, any kind of food, you know, and, and especially astrozyme with estrogen in it. I go, it's going gonna, it's gonna to not just break it down. You're going to get, you're going to get 30 to 60 percent more out of it. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay. Hang on. You said something very interesting. I, I want to make sure I understood this correctly. Are you saying that when you take enzymes with your supplements, aside from the estrogen, just enzymes with your supplements, you will improve the body's ability and the cell's ability to uptake those supplements? Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what enzymes do. I mean, again, that they're going to take anything without enzymes, you wouldn't, there wouldn't be any, you know, like you'd eat something, it would come out the other end, it would be identical. So wow. enzymes break that down and they, they, they have a delivery mechanism to get that to where it needs to go. You know, and estrogen just helps enhance that enzyme's ability to do that. Could it be that if somebody's not getting the benefits they want from supplements that they don't have enough enzymes, they're dealing with an enzyme deficiency? That could be a major factor, yes. How fascinating is that? So that and this is digestive enzymes and systemic enzymes. Yeah, both. All enzymes. That is absolutely fascinating. That that's a new one on me. So you can actually increase, improve the uptake of vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, essential nutrients, the mighty ninety essential nutrients into the cell itself if you use enzymes with the supplement. Right. Wow, that is awesome, and that's just another reason why you want to probably want to do live foods as well. Exactly. What is the estrogen exactly? Uh, it, it two components. So there's the uh, astragalus extract and then uh-huh. a panax noto ginseng extract. So these are um, obviously you know herbal herbal source, but again the, the extraction process. I mean they're they're they, they they're just looking for a very specific part of the plant. Do right? they know what they're looking for? It's just yeah. a complex. What yeah. is exactly what is it exactly they're looking for? Do you know? I don't I don't know that. So okay. As far as some of that stuff's proprietary and. And, and whatnot, but as far as the, the, the there's a there's a there's a dozens and dozens of clinical studies. That, I mean, that's why we chose to partner with them on our study and our research, just because they've they've already done you know a lot of that. They've they already have done all the groundwork and laid the foundation. So this is uh, this is the, when you combine the estrogen with the digestive enzymes in your product. What's the name of the product that has both of those in there? Astrozyme. Astrozyme. Okay, cool. And that's available at brightsidehealthproducts.com. Troy, we're out of time. Thank you so much, but I want to have you on regularly, if that's okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, thank you very okay. much, Ben. Good deal. God bless. Have a beautiful day, Troy. We'll talk later. All right, that was Troy Operly from ERC Enzymes. Mr. Enzyme, Dr. Enzyme, I call Troy. If you're interested in checking out uh, the Astrozyme, head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to check out any of my truth products, go to truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 